Pokemon Go literally just announced a lot of details for the upcoming season of Pokemon Go, and I'm not going to take up too much of your time with this intro because there's a lot of stuff we got to get into, so without further ado, let's get into it. Obviously, first and foremost, the title of the brand new season is going to be the Timeless Travel Season, which as you can tell here, we are going back to Hisuiu, Pokemon Legends Arceus, as you can see, we have these his as you can see here, we have the Hisuian starters right here, and oh my lord, I'm excited for them. So the Timeless Travel Season will be beginning on December 1st, starting at 10 a.m., and will be going until March 1st until 10 a.m. as well. And as of me recording this, the Pokemon Go Tour announcement will be happening in 18 hours and 45 minutes, which, depending on how much they announce with this announcement, I will do a completely separate video for that. So if you guys want to actually see that, be sure to subscribe so you guys can get notified whenever I do drop this video because I'm so excited for Go Tour. Y'all have no idea. Pokemon across space and time, Pokemon first discovered in the Suian region, more Pokemon originally discovered in the Suian region, featured in Pokemon Legends Arceus game on the Nintendo Switch, are appearing in Pokemon Go, such as Weird Ear here, which honestly, so excited for it. Yeah, there's gonna be new stuff with Party Play, but as far as I can tell, nothing new has been officially announced yet. But I do know that they are going to be prioritizing a lot of features in Party Play itself, and also routes which we're about to get into right now. So in the trailer, we're going to go into it real quick. So in the trailer, if I can actually find the portion that it's in right here, you can see here that this is simulated game footage, but there has been speculation around for a little while that there is going to be trainers appearing on routes that you can trade with and battle and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm assuming that this character right here is what is going to be introduced into routes as far as an in-game trainer that you can trade with, whatever. I don't know exactly how it's going to work because they haven't officially given details on that, but obviously I will produce the information as quickly as I can whenever I hear the information that they announce it. But as far as I know, this is going to be the trainer that is going to be able to be traded with on routes. Obviously, they're going to be doing a whole lot more showcases, and hopefully, if you guys have been playing Pokemon Go for at least a lot recently, Showcases have been kind of broken and they've been showing all showing as Squirtle showcases as in just like the most recent Pokemon Go Community Day classic being Mareep where in showcases you had to do Squirtles and not Mareeps because it was broken. You know, hopefully they fix it though. Seasonal highlights, timeless travels, expedition access. At the start of each month in timeless travels, trainers will be able to purchase a new ticket experience that includes bonuses and timed research. So basically what I'm assuming this is going to be, if you guys remember, back in the Halloween event where we had a ticket that we could buy that gave us access to a bunch of different researchers through the entire month of October I have a feeling that's gonna be the exact same way here where you buy the ticket once and it gives you a different research basically every single week throughout the entire month that's how I think it's gonna work but that's kind of it's kind of a guess at this point hey guys editor start here uh, quick update on this um, it did come out uh, the thing is going to be a pass Five dollar pass gives you three times XP for each first spin and catch of the day. You can hold as many gifts, you can send as many gifts, you can open as many gifts, uh, and then do, like extra stardust, extra XP. It's for the entire month. It's one time per day, uh, starting December first, ending December thirty first. That's about it. Uh, back to the video. Community days, mark your calendars. We have the catch up community day, which is going to be December 16th and the 17th, which will have all the Pokemon spawning from 2023. So I'm excited for that one. Uh, we have community day on January 6th. We have community day classic on January 20th, and we have community day on February 4th. I don't remember what these community days off the top of my head are. I'm pretty sure January 6th is supposed to be chancy because I've, about a month ago or so, I did put out a video regarding some leaks that came up. If you guys are interested in that video the link to it will be down in the description to see what these could potentially be because i i'm not sure if they were covered in the leaks but i'm as far as i remember january 6th is supposed to be chancy which i'm i don't know how i feel about that one seasonal rotations of research breakthrough will be changing for the season which you will now be able to encounter lapras galarian Weezing, galarian mr mime furfro gumi and jengmo from the research breakthroughs which each and every single one of those can be shiny except for jengmo which will be getting a community day here probably in in 2025 probably and egg pools in the 2k eggs we are going to be getting pichu tyrogue smoochum togepi and smolov 
and also there will be more than just that, which all those can be shiny except for small of. Five kilometer eggs. We have Elekid, Magby, Sprigatito, Fuego, Coco, Quaxley, Palmy, and more, which the only ones that can be shiny out of those ones are Elekid and Magby, which I really hope there's more shinies available in the 5k eggs, because honestly, that's just kind of painful. 7k eggs, as the usual, we will have a Lowland Sandshrew, a Lowland Geodude, a Lowland Grimer, Paldean Wooper, and more, which all those can be shiny. 10 kilometer eggs, we will have Dratini, Beldum, Carbink, Frigibax, and more, which obviously, Frigibax is the very sought after one being the brand new pseudo legendary that was just introduced to the game just recently very hard to find i think i've only ever found like one or two of them adventure sync 5ks will have clefa riolu tortuga archon and more which all those can be shiny 10 kilometer adventure sync eggs we will have bagon dino gumi rockruff and more which all those can be shiny as well now something i'm super excited about are the seasonal bonuses trainers level 31 and above will receive one guaranteed xl candy when trading pokemon that is probably the best season bonus that they can ever do which i'm it's usually every other season basis that they do that but whenever they do have that as a season bonus it's always amazing one additional candy when trading pokemon trainers level 31 and above will have a higher chance to receive rare candy xl from in-person five star raids increase xp for a seven day pokestop spin streak increased xp and stardust from seven day pokemon catch streak so they're basically trying to incentivize in-person raiding and trading as well and also on top of that being able to go out consistently they're trying to incentivize that a little bit and the next thing i'm about to show you guys is a couple pictures that pokemon go tweeted out on their twitter account which this stuff does get emphasized on the actual pokemon go website but they made it a lot easier to read and actually understand here in these few pictures so we're going to go over that on this Featured Pokemon for the Timeless Travels research has Vanillite. I have no idea exactly what that means, but I do know Vanillite can officially be shiny eligible during the start of the brand new season, so that's super exciting since we are going into the winter months. Five star raids for the month of December. We will have Reshiram from December 1st through the 9th. We will have Zekrom from December 9th through the 16th. We will have Kyurem from December 16th to the 23rd. And we will also have Regigigas from December 23rd to January 1st. Now, Mega Raids, we will have Mega Caesar from December 1st through the 9th. Mega Altaria from December 9th through the 16th. Mega Abomasnow from the 16th through the 23rd. And Mega Glalie from December 23rd through January 1st, which each and every single one of these things in raids can be shiny eligible now all the events for the month of december i'm super excited about because to kick off the brand new season december 3rd we have hisuian samurai raid day which we will be going over that here shortly i just wanted to go over this first because they actually have this one on the website so we'll go over that here momentarily December 5th through the 8th along the routes, which is I'm assuming is when they're going to introduce the tradable character on routes. I assume that's just a guess. December 9th, Catch Mastery Ice, which I'm assuming is going to be a bunch of ice type spawning, and it's going to be the introduction of Shiny Vanillite. December 11th through the 15th, Adamant Time. I don't know what that means. I've, that's never been an event before. I don't I don't know. December 16th through the 17th, December Community Day, which is just the wrap-up for the year of 2023. Kind of just basically there, just in case you guys missed a Community Day. December 18th to the 25th, Winter Holiday Part 1, starting at 10 a.m. Super excited about that one, because usually the Christmas events are super good. December 23rd, we will have Raid Day for Weird Ear, which I'm assuming will be shiny eligible as well. December 23rd through the 24th will be the Winter Wonderland event, which I'm assuming is going to be a very good event i have such high hopes for the season let me just put that out there these events need to be good because the last season as far as events go kind of sucked if i'm being honest and december 25th through the 31st will be the winter holiday part two event so basically we have events going on throughout the entire month of december and i'm so excited for it and of course raid hours on december 6th we'll have reshiram on december 13th we'll have zekrom on december 20th we will have kairam and on december 27th we will have reggie gigas and also shadow zapdos will be appearing during raids on the weekends in december not too excited about that one also one thing on this actual video here that i wanted to go over before i get into the hisuian samurai raid day let me show you guys something because on the leaks it talked about a potential shadow ho-oh raid weekend which honestly is kind of confirmed right here boom we are gonna have a shadow ho-oh raid weekend and i'm so excited for it also in just talking about the leaks here look at this 
we are gonna get Origin Form Dialga and Origin Form Apokia, just like the leak suggests. I'm super excited for that. I'm assuming they will be debuted during the Sinnoh Tour, but that's just a guess. Now on to the last little bit of information here, Hisuian Samurott Raid Day. I'm not going to go over the GBL changes, just an FYI, if you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link to it in the description because there's a lot there, and I know it's kind of a niche thing and this video is already going to get long enough, so I'll leave that in the description if you guys want to go read about it. So on Sunday, December 3rd from 2pm to 5pm local time, Hisuian Samurott will debut in 3 star raids, which will be shiny eligible, so I'm super excited to raid for that one. That one's going to be so fun, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing a video for it or if I'm going to do a live stream. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how it goes. Event bonuses during the raid day will be you will receive five additional free raid passes from spinning gyms and photo discs. So honestly, that is amazing considering the fact that it, I believe, is free because I said free. It is free. Increased chance to encounter shiny Hisuian Samurai, which I believe will actually be a 1 in 20 odds if I if I had to guess. The remote raid pass limit will be increased to 20 from 4 p.m. on December 2nd to December 3rd at 7 p.m. There will be a $5 ticket that you can buy for this event that will give you 8 additional raid passes from Photodisc to make your daily limit 14 if you really want to be grinding this, which I will most likely end up buying, increased chance to get rare XL candies, and 50% more XP from raid battles, and double Stardust from raid battles, which honestly, I'm super excited for this. That looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun, and y'all know they're going to be doing the same exact things for Hisuian Decidui and Hisuian Typhlosion, which I'm, if I had to guess... Typhlosion is going to be last. I'm assuming they're going to do one at the beginning of every single month because it's a three-month season, you know, beginning of December, beginning of January, beginning of February. They're going to do one. Got to space it out a little bit, you know? But all right, everybody, that is all the information that Pokemon Go has given out as of right now. But obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, they are having a countdown right now for the Pokemon Go Tour. So be on the lookout for a video for that because whenever it does get announced which will most likely i will end up recording it either wednesday or thursday depends on when i got out of school on wednesday so be sure to look out for a video most likely coming this weekend so either way if you guys did enjoy the video and found it informative be sure to drop a like comment down below what you're excited for in this new season and all the information that they gave us and also consider subscribing and keep up to date with these videos and all this information that I'm going to be giving you guys over these next few days and weeks regarding the new season and any kind of update that they give us. Either way, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.